Hello everyone, this is Manshu and today we are going to talk about my experiences while living in Thapar University campus as a first year student. Of course, presently I am in second year, but I am first year ke baad college nahi bhai, to what can I do? So I will be telling about all the expenses and budget that I just used to you know spend while living in Thapar University campus. So you can also estimate what budget you might be needing while going to the campus if you are a fresher in 2021. So you can just estimate and I'll be sharing about all the things like I'll be sharing about food expenses, laundry expenses and all other things. So this video will be very beneficial for you. So make sure you like the video and subscribe the channel and let's just start now. So the college budget or you can say expenses is a dynamic thing. So it can just vary from person to person. For example, while I was there in campus in the first two weeks, I spent less than 500 as far as I remember. But later on, my expenses were, you know, increased. So it just depends on time and person to person. So there are some people who can just, you know, manage in less than 2000 rupees per month. And there are some persons who can just, you know, spend 10 to 15,000 as well per month. It just depends. But I will be sharing about all the factors that might be, you know, beneficial in calculating your budget. So you can just, you know, estimate properly. So let's just start now. Okay, so the first thing that we will be talking about is the travel budget. For example, if you are living in Patiala or if you are living near to Patiala, and if you're not a hosteler, so you might be having some travel cost, for example, coming to Patiala or you can just say coming to college might have some travel cost. And one more thing that in Patiala, there is an Uber or Ola, but if you talk about cabs, so there are outstation cabs only. So the fare of Uber cab might be eight to 10 times higher compared to Uber Moto, or you can just say that two wheeler service that they provide. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, you can just use the auto rickshaw as per your need and if you have a bicycle so you can just use that as well if you are living inside Patiala or near to the Patiala areas or if you are living near to the university campus and otherwise if you are a hosteler so you won't be needing much you know travel cost so for example if you are a just so if you are a punctual student that just you know wakes up on time and go to the classes on time and that does not do hurry in most of the things so you won't be needing any travel budget inside university campus. So there are some auto rickshaws that just run inside the university campus, the electric autos that you might see in your city if you are living inside a city. And the fare for that auto you can just say is 10 rupees. So for example, you can just, you know, so for example, you can just travel to anywhere inside the campus in 10 rupees. So the fare is just fixed. So it doesn't matter whatever distance you travel. So you just have to pay 10 rupees after sitting in that auto and that's it. Otherwise, you won't be needing any, you know, travel budget while living inside the campus as a hosteler. So everything is just near so you can just walk around and it just so you can just walk around to your classes and hostel and it won't be a problem. And that was about travel. So the next thing we are talking about is the food, which is the main thing. And it might be the thing that might be needing the maximum amount of budget or you can just say expenses. So, so for example, if you're coming to campus or you can just say university or hostel to the first time, so you might not adjust according to the mess food or you can just say water. For example, I live in Chandigarh and the quality of water is much better. I'm not talking about drinking water. I'm just talking about regular water only the bathing water. You can just say that. So the quality of water in Chandigarh is much better compared to Padiala. So I was not able to adjust in my initial days at hostel, but later on I was able to adjust. So in the initial days, I was not adjustable to the filter water as well. Or you can just say that whatever you say water cooler as well. And you all know the reputation of water coolers in Indian hostels. Water cooler features are <laughs> so yeah, that's it and in the initial days or you can just say in the initial one or two weeks I used to just buy bisleri bottles every day I think I used to buy two bottles so yeah that was it for my side otherwise I think most of the people were able to manage but yeah that's it that's the factor that you might also want to keep in mind and talking about the food so so you don't have to pay anything for eating in the mess. Of course, mess fees is included. But if you have to just buy some snacks, for example, you have to buy some chips or lays or other things. So you have to pay for that. And there is an evening canteen and there is a night canteen. So you can just, you know, go to the evening or you can just see night and you can just buy the stuff. Or if you have to just, you know, so if you want to take some coffee or tea as well, so that are also the expenses. So you so just keep that in mind. And if you are coming to the college, of course, Many of you might not like the mess food, although the mess food of Thapur University is much great compared to other hostels or you can say other colleges, other private or government colleges. 
but you might not find it comparable to your homemade food so it just depends otherwise otherwise mess food is you know awesome but sometimes you might want to eat out or you can just say you want to some order or you can just say that you want to order something from Swiggy or Zomato during the weekends that we used to do a lot I think we used to order almost every weekend from Zomato or Swiggy and we just used to you know and we used to just sit on the skywalk that we had in our hostel M and we just enjoyed the food and it was a great experience and you might also experience it so for that also you might you know count the expenses so so if i talk about the food expenses so you can just say the food expenses might be from 50 to 100 rupees if you are just you know taking some snacks from the canteen every day and if you are just planning to eat out or you can just say you are planning to order something from the matter so you during weekend so you can just estimate that for four weeks you can just estimate the cost might be from 500 to 700 rupees or it can also go higher up uh, it just depends whatever you order and one day i saw that there were four people that were you know taking out 20 pizzas with them in the lift and of course most of the people just order from lapinos in thabar or you can just see boston bites and they were literally carrying 20 pizzas with them and i was just like and i was like that yes sab log to ghar ja chuke almost mai bacha tha kyunki it was last time i think there were two or three days left before we were forced to go home because of covid but they were literally carrying 20 pizzas and i was thinking that and i was like that yaar bhooto ke liye chhod ke ja rahe ho kya aap log ye sab and yeah that's it and if you are talk about other expenses so you might have some expenses on groceries or you can just say all other stuff of course you are not allowed to you know leave the campus but you might you know but you might want to buy some groceries you can just order from the sites so you can also order from sites for example amazon pantry or big basket i'm not sure whether they are operational in patiyal or not but otherwise you can just you know buy from the cost market from the shop so the grocery expenses might be from around it just depends on yourself but it might be from around 200 to 300 per week if you are a regular eater so otherwise i don't think you won't be needing much groceries because mass food is enough and you won't be needing much but you can just estimate that the grocery expenses might be around 500 per month and it it can also go higher but these are the stats so yeah that's it and if i talk about the next thing which is laundry so the laundry services is mostly free in most of the hostels so you don't have to pay for laundry so the laundry charges are you know included in the hostel fees but the thing is that you can only give 10 clothes at a time to the laundry and these clothes must be big so you cannot give your undergarments in the laundry and you can also not give the things like your shoes in the laundry you can also you can only give like your t-shirt shirts you know jeans trousers and all that you can only give that otherwise you have to wash them by yourself but if you want to just get your other clothes washed by the laundry itself so there is a laundry there is a paid laundry service in the cost market so you can just go there as well and the charges for that laundry is around rupees 70 per kg so they charge around rupees 70 per kg of clothes so if you don't want to wash anything by yourself and you just want to give everything to the laundry and just assume that you are giving two to three kgs of laundry per week so the price of paid laundry might go around 600 if you are giving to the paid laundry otherwise there are no laundry charges so i used to wash everything by myself so i never found it so i never found need to give the clothes to the paid laundry service so you can just you know think that and yeah that's it now the next thing so the next thing which i'm going to talk about might be the most dangerous thing to your budget it can completely destroy your budget and you might spend a lot on this because you might be forced to spend a lot on this and these are the birthday parties so your friends might just say you give me party give me party and in every uh, every single day there might be a person in your class that just want party and nothing else and they might be just saying to you that give me a party every day so that's just it and and if i talk about the budget of the birthday party so it's just unlimited because no one cares whatever you are they just want party and nothing else so you can just also destroy your budget during this birthday parties but you can just you know estimate the so if you're giving birthday parties to just you know six to seven people your budget might be around 1500 to 2000 if you are just ordering some pizzas otherwise it can go higher as well depending on their needs and whatever you are forced to pay so that's the thing about birthday parties now the next thing i'm going to talk about is the health and beauty budget so some of them might not apply to both the genders so you can just refer that so for health 
so there is a health center in thapan university so you don't have to pay anything for that so if you are so if you are ill you can just visit the health center and they just give you the prescription and they also give you the medicines and you don't have to pay anything for that otherwise if you want to just you know get some things for your health for example you want to if you, for example if you are not feeling well and if you want to get some in or if you want to get some ors so of course you have to pay for that and like i said that i was not habitual to the quality of water that they had at campus so i also had to buy water bottles in my initial weeks so these all costs are included in the health budget so you can just estimate that the health budget might be around i don't think it will be much but you can just say that 200 to 300 per month so you can just estimate otherwise there is no much budget on the health so so if you are just doing great so you won't be needing any health budget so it just depends and the next thing which i'm talking about is the beauty budget so it does not apply to men so i think it does not apply to men but i think you are smart enough what i am trying to say i'm trying to say about the makeups that girls use so the budget for that as well is unlimited it does not depend so it does not depend whatever you are you can just you know spend millions on it as well so it just depends on the person i know i might be wrong but the thing is so yeah that's the thing so yeah that's it otherwise men also use beauty products it's not true that just girls use beauty products men also use both beauty products so you can just refer that and these are the things that might cost you at thapar university or you can just say these are the things that might you know increase your expenses while living at thapar university campus so if you just estimate that okay so let's just estimate the budget that you might have while living at the campus so yeah that's it so let's just calculate the budget that you might have while living in the campus the monthly budget i'm talking about so talking about the travel so if i'm talking about the persons who are living at campus but still there might be some instances where you are you know in need of getting some auto so you can just stay for that and if i'm adding 20 rupees for auto per day and if i am talk about the food so it just depends so if I talk about myself, I rarely eat at mess during the lunch time because I was already exhausted. So I just so I just used to go to the rap check for eating. So if I so if you add that as well, so you can just add sixty to seventy rupees for that. And if I talk about snacks, so you might want to go to the mess, or you can just say evening or night canteen for some coffee, or you can just say chips or tea. So if I add rupees forty for that, so yeah, that's it and talking about groceries so it just depends i never needed any grocery so if we can just add the grocery amount later on and talking about the laundry we can just add it later on and the birthday parties as well we can add later on and talking about health and beauty so these are not just you know daily budget so you cannot just add them on the daily basis so most of the things you can just say that these are the things that you might be you know spending at thapar on a daily basis so if i you know just multiply it from six so if i multiply from six so you might not be you know buying everything every day so it, that's just it and if you are some and if you are just planning to eat out on holiday or you can just say saturday or sunday so let's just add 200 for that so it gives a matter you can just add so these might be your monthly or you can just see weekly expenses and if i just you know multiply it from four so so these might be your monthly expense if you are just you know foodie person and if you want to just spend a lot so you can just spend everything and these might be your budget and if i just add other things as well so if you have a birthday so i'm just talking about the extreme case so if i if you are a birthday person so you might be giving some party so just add 2000 in that so if you are a girl or a boy you might be spending something on your makeup as well for example you just you know went for a haircut or that so for example you just went for a haircut or you just bought some beauty products so yeah that's it so you can just add 500 for that and if you are giving some things to the laundry in the cost market so let's just add 400 for that as well so and the last thing is about groceries so so if you need groceries every month so it just depends otherwise you don't need any groceries otherwise you can just add 500 for that as well sorry so this is the extreme budget that you might have while living at campus or the upper campus otherwise you might be able to you know live at campus 
within less than 500 rupees per month if you are not a person who just you know spends a lot on things otherwise you can just estimate that and yeah that's it and so it also depends on person to person as i just told otherwise you might be having a budget roughly from around i think so if you want to know about the rough budget so you might be spending around 1500 to 2000 rupees per month on campus it would be more than enough and you don't have to you know spend anything extra and you can also live within 1000 rupees per month it just depends on you so that's the thing so i hope you got some idea from this video whatever budget you might get while living at campus and so i hope you find this video helpful so just share with your friends who might be going to college this year so they can also get some idea about the budget or expenses that they might you know spend while living at a university or college and they can also get benefit from it so just share with your friends and family and i think and you can just like the video and subscribe the channel as well if you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much